state of emergency is declared in the Missouri town rocked by protests over a police shooting. Plus, a crash on a busy highway leaves a driver dead and two others injured. And the latest on the death of a young child who fell from a seventh story window. Good evening, I'm Sierra Putman. A three-year-old Providence girl died Friday night after falling out of a window at an apartment complex. Susie Steimel spoke with the family about how her death may have been prevented. Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News. And police are investigating a deadly crash in Rainham. It happened when two vehicles collided on Route 44 in front of the Toyota dealership around 1130 last night. Brian Spillane of East Taunton was killed in the wreck. He was driving a 1968 Mercury Cougar Coupe. The two people in the other vehicle, a Hyundai Tucson SUV, were injured but are expected to recover. And two people were injured in a single car accident in Norton. Witnesses say the car hit a tree head on and 1 a.m. on Plain Street. Both people were trapped inside and had to be freed from the vehicle. We do not know their names or their condition at this hour. In Exeter at this hour, a vigil in memory of a young teen. 18-year-old Jeremiah Zardi of Warwick was swimming with friends in Browning Pond last Saturday when he went underwater. Friends pulled him from the pond and tried to resuscitate him, but were not successful. A gathering of friends came together tonight to remember him. Zardi just graduated from Warwick Vets this past spring. It's a birthday event no one wanted to have, but this afternoon, family and friends of a missing Fall River woman held a prayer vigil at her 32nd birthday at Kennedy Park in Fall River. Jennifer Mubwa was last seen in May. Her car was found abandoned at a shell filling station in North Attleboro. It's been about three months, and her sister tells NBC10 the family hasn't heard from Jennifer at all. Police don't have any leads to where the Fall River nurse could be or any suspects who might know where she went. Well, we just really want it to be a moment of reflection. We're going to have a moment of silence um, to just to think about Jennifer, wherever she is, and just for her to know that she's in our prayers and she's in our thoughts and, and also to just make people aware that she's missing and we don't know where she is. If you have any information about what happened to Jennifer Bugua, you're urged to call North Attleboro Police. Getting in the back to school spirit, thousands of Rhode Island families flock to the area schools for the annual back to school celebration of Rhode Island. This year, the group teamed up with Gear for Grades initiative. With the help of 500 community volunteers, they gave away 14,000 backpacks filled with school supplies to Rhode Island kids. This is about embracing what is about to happen at the end of this month, which is an opportunity to continue opening um, doors um, for our students. It's in, and also it's an opportunity of coming together to provide for the future of this city and this state. Uh, but just relax, Today marks the 15th anniversary for the annual Back to School celebration. And NBC 10 is on World Series Watch tonight. The Cumberland Little Leaguers prepare to play their second game of the tournament. We have Tim team coverage to start you off. We're going to start off with sports team 10's Joe Kayada and Williamsport. In Williamsport, Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News. And stay with NBC 10 for complete coverage of World Series Watch. We're in Pennsylvania as the Cumberland American team plays for the Little League Championship. Tony and sports team 10's Joe Kayada will have live reports throughout the tournament. And there's more coverage of Cumberland American on TurnTo10.com. Learn more about the team and find out how you can show your support. From the Money Watchers, a chance to save on your back-to-school shopping. Massachusetts is bringing back its sales tax holiday weekend starting today. The state temporarily suspends the 6.25% sales tax in stores today. There were a lot of people out shopping, taking advantage of that tax break. We, we do this every year. We did this last year, and we do two or three months business in two days. Yeah. But, you know, we, we give everybody discounts because it's a tent, it's a tent sale and they pay no taxes, so it's a, the best value ever. The sales tax exemption does not apply to tobacco or other items over $2,500. Coverage you trust continues new at 6. More trouble in Ferguson, Missouri one week after a teen was shot and killed by a police officer. 
Also ahead, police make two arrests in the case of two Amish girls who went missing this week. An upstate New York couple is being held without bail for allegedly kidnapping two Amish sisters. 39-year-old Stephen House II and 25-year-old Nicole Basie were each charged with two counts of first-degree kidnapping. The girls, ages 7 and 12, vanished from their family's roadside farm stand Wednesday night. Their disappearance triggered a massive search. The girls turned up safe a night later, about 15 miles away. The suspects could face 25 years to life in prison if convicted. Now at six, a state of emergency has been declared in Ferguson, Missouri, where 18 year old Michael Brown was shot and killed by police one week ago. Polo Sandoval reports on the latest developments as the investigation into the shooting death continues. And two art students from California are traveling down the Mississippi River this month in a one of a kind boat. They're working on a project called Secret History of the American River People. Devin Bartolotta caught up with the students to see what life on the river was like. A mild summer. In fact, you know, Sierra, this month so far, we're averaging about two degrees below average. So the temperatures are very moderate, saving on the AC. See, that's how I like it. Yeah. Because my AC is not working right now, so I want the temperatures to stay cool and nice. Well, you're in good shape for that. <laughs> Give you time to get it fixed, huh? Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, this summer's almost over, so, you know, we've had a nice couple of days. You've made it now, huh? I have. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Gary. Sports. All right, sounds good. Nice job. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're looking uh, decent tomorrow. Cold front coming by with a few showers here. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight, and we hope to see you at 7 o'clock.